What's happening, folks, and welcome to another episode of the Ajax Let's Play. Don't forget, if you enjoy this series and you want to see and you want to see more from it, hit the subscribe button. Though I'm guessing it might be the first episode you've seen. If you're enjoying it and you want to keep supporting it more appropriately, hit the like button down below. Help support the channel and the algorithm and that kind of stuff. You've got to play the games sometimes. Don't forget to check out my Twitch channel down below, my Twitter links and all that kind of stuff on my Discord as well. Very active in those areas. I always apply to comments and things like that on Twitch. We're live on Twitch, I mean, what day? I'm not sure this is going out. We'll have on Friday at least. I'm not sure what day this is going out to upload it. But yeah, we are doing. We're doing a thing on Twitch. We've had flash, flashback, flash, flashback Friday where we do a 06 or 07 database save. We've maybe been able to do this, not decided yet as of recording. And then other days, it's good. we've got a long term Man United save on there, which we're doing all right with at the moment as of today. And this is Sunday I'm recording this. So yeah, also then this call, if you've got any regens new gens or anything you wanted to show on videos please feel free to put them down in the discord i would say a screenshot from the game not a picture of your monitor from a camera just for sheer clarity reasons it's got to be a screenshot if you don't know how to do it guys i'll try and demonstrate now if it lets me is it f12 there we go f, f, press f12 and you get a screenshot saved it's not come up on screen because i've muted the, i've muted them um but yeah so, games on camera. Let's go. Back on form with a 3-1 victory over Utrecht. Um, this was a much better performance from us. We did address a few things in training. We actually asked them to focus more on um, transcreation and defending wide areas. And it seemed to work in this game. 3-0 victory. Against, if Utrecht were the only team up to, this, up, to that, up to that recent form of three draws in a row, that caused us problems. Part two with two goals, and guess how they scored them. And Brian Bobley got one late on from, I think, a corner kick, I think it was. I haven't played this game in a few hours, so I've forgotten exactly how the goals were scored. But 3 victory for Utrecht, good result. Then beat Sparta 2-0. Um, Partey and Bobley with the goals in this game. Um, yeah, just back to some kind of normality here. Um can't remember much of the game. Just, you can tell by the stats we dominated it. But yeah, it was just nice to just have the form back. I was worried about the three draws in a row, thinking that it could be the start of a bad run of form, but it seems like it's not the case. And maybe the training we did is kind of nipped in the bud a little bit. Beat Aaron Bean 4 0, two goals from Naki Ueva and two from Reina. Good result for us there. Again, which I went to thinking it could be a problem, um, but we actually came out with flying clothes again. So the form definitely back in the team. Hope for that continues today against Feyenoord. Um, but good result there. Again, a clean sheet, which is nice to see. So we've reasserted ourselves in the league title race. Now, that little blip we've had is not, has not gone too much longer. We're still unbeaten, guys. I think we did it. I think we were unbeaten once before. We might as well do it again. Now, obviously, guys, I know this all feedback on the series is welcome. I would like to say, if people are thinking, oh, it's a bit, you know, it's, you've conquered the, the enemies now. I get that. But the problem is, I don't know what I would, say, what I would do after this. So, um, yeah, um, I still think we've got things to do to try and conquer Europe. So until we do that, or at least get way further along, I don't want to end the series too early. Because I know people may be thinking, oh, well, you're winning the league every season now. There's still the Champions League. But if we get to, like, season eight and we haven't done it yet, then maybe we can readdress and maybe do something fun at the back end of the year. But I just want to... I, just, I, I was just worried about seeing all the results coming through thinking winning games quite easy. I just want to address that in case we're wondering about well, what's the aim? Trying Champions League. It, we can always reassess it down the line, but I really want to try and do a few seasons with the IX to just give it a good crack of it rather than just ending it after a short period of time. So, yeah, just want to adjust that in case you guys are wondering about that. So, I think we might do the full live comp today, um, given that it's a, it's a semi-final and it could go to penalties and it's not taking too long to get through the early parts of the video either. Looking at the bench, I think mean, nothing else we can change there really other than maybe personal preference changes. So let's go. Van der Beek starting today because he, he wants to play more football and I think it's only fair that he gets the, that. He gets that. So I'm going to do a full line come. I think it would be kind of cool just to do that for a semi-final. Um, actually, no, no, you know what? We'll do edited highlights. I'm going to just... I, the, the style I do, guys, is I show the main bits. If there's anything about the highlights you're not liking what I'm doing, or you want to see more general play, let me know down in the comments. But I'm just going to show you the main bits of these games. Ooh, it's a bit fast. I've speed a little bit in off camera. So, yeah. Um, let's see, guys, how we get on, folks. Hopefully, a place in the final again. That'd be the nice, wouldn't it? Let's see if we can pull it off. We've got a free kick here. Oh, never mind. Taking control by Univise on the break now. Can he find a pass? Somebody has got options, but they recruit really well with um, Feyenoord. Eposito. Univar, Rainer, space, shoots! Ooh. It's a good attempt. 
a lot of power on it. Just couldn't quite find the direction, could he, unfortunately. Thank you for Mares. Killed in far post. Esposito 1 0. 37th goal of the season for Esposito, and he puts us ahead in the semi final. Ajax 1. By an odd nil. As last time we played, he's going to be actually thrashed them. Great ball in. Poor Mark in the far post. Not keeping the saves it, I think. Um, nearly. But not quite in close enough. And offside check on here. Well, he's not offside. Clearly, it's two guys playing him out at the far post. So, um, not even debatable offside call there. 1-0. Good start. For sure on target as well. And now Des throws it into Ronald. That's the kind of pass right there that I think that I'm talking about that I really get away a lot. If I, 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 I'm not going to go it bad, but that pass there... I don't know how to sort that issue out because that's the lot of times we get the ball away in those in those passes. That's the lot. Of, great ball there though. Can he keep it in? He can. Beats his man. I guess looking for it in, cleared, but and it's given a penalty. I think. I think he's given the penalty here. He's at least checking it for a penalty. Is he going to give it though? That is the big question. The game stopped when we had a another attack building. So hopefully he's going to give this. Wow. So we had a counter-attack on there, and he's not, hmm, frustrating. But, you know, makes sense, maybe. Ball in the box here. Can we get a go back just to win a shot? I mean, that is a wonderful strike, and it's an absolutely belting goal uh, that we've scored there. I mean, this kid is something else. Um, it was first time I'm even more impressed. I think it was, you know. Yeah, first time. Look at that. Nice and low. Just nice, low driven shot um, into the bottom side netting. 2 0 against Feyenoord. Deja vu for them, I think, at the moment. Miles with a free kick for the box. Goes for it. I tell you, we're getting closer with free kicks recently than we were before. And it's nice to see that for a change. It was previously we're just getting free kicks and not scoring them. Now it looked like we're getting a lot closer to scoring free kicks. Reino good to the Pacito. Now Mares. But we, we, we are playing better than we were last episode. Throwing it to Dest again. Finds Ronald. Now Dest. Now Ronald. Iposito. Van der Beek. Again, the first time shot again, I think. And he nearly went in. But again, this pace here from Reina is a massive thing. He's in a penalty again here now. And he's, he's tell you, it, it's something we've never had in the camp for a while. Genuine pace like he's got. And he is making a massive, massive difference. He, he just drives into those areas and caused a lot of problems. And obviously, he's got a will. And then he's. He's playing set back. He's playing right back now as well. The guy's just perfect uh, at this point. Um, I may just keep talking because it's nearly half time anyway. But figure here for me. Can he, can he find the key pick out a pass? It's a good ball. Are you? Oh, he's offside anyway. But how are we not putting the ball back in the net? At least if he, even if, even though he's offside. But what is it about final guys? They just literally cannot do anything against us when they play against them. Not your cards as well. But yeah, um, perfect performance so far. I'm going to say don't get complaints because I feel if I don't say it, I always, I'm always nervous about them getting complacent and giving something away. Um, so I'm going to make a change um, here. And I'm going to bring on Doku for, yeah, and I'm going to make him a winger and he could be inside forward now. I don't know about you guys, but do you think two inside forwards can work in this formation? I've tried before and it's not. Because the thinking I've got, and this is why I'm to take a big to begin to talk about this, is I don't want, because I'm thinking if he goes into there, he goes into there, and he's there, there's three guys on the strike around there. The only plus side is, advance forward will drift in these like, wide areas. You'll see him do it. So could you, two, could two inside forwards work if, he, if you've got advance forward in there? Just let me know, guys. I, I try and have one wing and one side, one inside forward. So he's got one person all up of in space on the on the side. It seems to work, but if we can get two inside forwards, two in two inside forwards, then I'd be I'm down with that. But I've never had to work in the past. Is that a thing, or maybe it's just like yeah, it works, but it's just maybe looking at personnel. That's the question. The question I'm going to pose you today, guys. Can two inside forwards work with an AMC in there? And they've got a chance to get a goal here and offside. But yeah, that's the question of the day. I'm guessing these examples that it can work. Throw in here, and it's literally just all highlights for us. There's literally nothing from Final in this game at all. Salah down the left hand side, this base finds Abusito, back to Salah, finds a cross was Mares again. He's a header. I mean, good, decent chance. It was really a threat for him, look like we're going to do something. 
this that's kind of putting out a little bit. Oh, good, 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 good play. They're in goal here. Good save from Anana. That's the first time Fan looked like the, the great something in this game. Um, it's could be maintain her composure. One ball the pitch. Van der Beek gets it back. Reina, Van der Beek. Picano. Great ball to Dest. Can't find a ball in the box here now. It's got time for Mares. Eposito. Blocked and cleared. And free kick into Feyenoord for a shove. That's frustrating. And the other card as well. Okay. Free kick for Reina. A bit deep, deep area. He's, 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 he's right going in. And they have. I was just saying he's a habit of going in this year. It feels like free kicks in this position are a deadly threat. I thought it was just the um, United save on Twitch having that is a success with but it looks like it's actually just a thing this year these airy free kicks if you get a free kick from here and you've got a decent free kick taker it's almost like you're going to score a goal but it wasn't a great ball in just poor marking but it feels like a thing this year that um, they go in or that area they're, they're definitely a threat I don't do anything from set piece myself to encourage that but it feels like it's a thing I don't know if you guys are saying the same as well so there's Son in the box with Pasito rain a bit of space now Takes it on, and it's a wonderful goal for Pasito. And the four goals have, have flown in here. Um, and deja vu for Feyenoord, I'm afraid. Um, it looks like they're going to have um, nightmares again against Ajax. Um, do you think this is similar to a volley or... Let's have a look. Rainer gets the ball, dinks it in. I'm sorry. Has he just done what I think he's just done? Has he just done what I think he just did there, Esposito? I'm winding this back. I'm going to slow this right down. It looks like he's flicked it. Hang on. It looks like he's kind of like... Back heel flicked it into back of the net. That's a brilliant goal. <laughs> Ooh. That is absolutely beautiful. I might slow it down a bit more, actually, uh, for future goals. What a finish that is, if he's done what I think he's done there. I mean, we've got some belting strikes in this series, but I think that's the best goal we've seen. He kind of like flicks it back over him and... Oh, now dust. Close it in around the beat. Clear, there's the box. And there's a break on here. Oh, I think he's getting a penalty. I might keep it off. There's not, there's not a good pause. I might keep it in anyway. Um... Sure not. You can't not give a penalty twice. They had a counter attack as well, which is really frustrating for them if they if you don't give it. Is it a negative penalty? Twice he's gone to VAR and not giving a penalty, and this is even worse because Farnard had a counter attack. He was in on us there. Wow, that is frustrating for Farnard. I mean, it's not going to affect the game, really, is it? Really, but it's just what the odds of that two VAR penalties. That that, oh, that if I was finally pissed. I mean, this is the game. It's not gonna be, again throw in guy unmarked. Um, Van der Beek. It's not gonna affect the game massively, is it? I mean, we're gonna we're gonna win this match, but it's just the fact that they're the counter attack, you know. And there's again, there's a the game, there's a the game won. We're, we're we're another cup final, folks, which is brilliant to see. Love to see it. I also got no question for you guys. A second after this video, after this game's finished, to go to something else. And there we go. Full response has gone. VAR controversy. Well, VAR involved twice. A wonderful goal from Reina. Amazing technique um, shown by Esposito for his. Um, that's his confidence, I think. Well done in the final. Who are we getting in the final, though? That is the question. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sure who the second semi-final is against. We can have a look. Oh, right, we're playing, we're playing Heronveen in the final. We'll just smack them 4-0. So, yeah. So, guys, I'm going to go quick to another screen. I'm just going to ask a question about... Um, well, I'll get to that screen in a second. So, as you can see here on the world transfer screen, now, usually what I would do is, on this screen, I would go through every single nation with a certain date and scan for new gens. I call them regions, but I'm going to try and call them new gens. Is there a technique that I can do this year that's similar to that? Because previously, what you would do is... Okay, 8th of March. Okay, so 8th of March, tick all these off. It Today would be, I don't know, the German national team. Um, German national teams, German German nations, region day. So you just scan 
spam all of them and scan and you know assess them all and look at them. This year, apparently, I don't think you can have. Um, I don't think I don't think there's certain dates, or maybe because I've not been playing the game as much in depth as I usually do for the last couple of years. But now we're really getting into it again. What's the best method of you finding new gens? Because what I've got is at the moment the main reason, main way I find them, is I've got an assignment here which is set up. Find seven max age of seventeen years old. They've got to be good, and then I get them. I get them from there. But I like to go through every report and look at them and get in depth. But I don't know the best way of ever doing that right now. So look on the screen here. We've got some players here that, that the, the guy has found. One guy is Chinese. He's a new gen. Oh my god, look at him. I mean... Yeah, I mean, that's potentially good. But So I'm finding some potential good players here. That I can go in for. I trust my scouts pretty much to the, to the hilt. I mean, he looks decent as well, to be honest. Oh wow, he could be. Ooh, ooh, I tell you. So yeah, that's how I usually find them. That's how I usually find these guys. Or it's simply put, I go on the scouting screen here. I just keep going through so often, and occasionally you might see one pop up. You see, there you go. One, it's one right there. I mean, look at him. Holy God. What a where did he come from? From Denmark. So yeah, how do I find these guys? That's essentially what I mean. That's how I usually find my regens. New gens. I did it. I did it again. So thoughts down below, guys, of just ideas of how I'm doing it the right way. Or are there still dates that you can estimate? Like, oh, it's between March 8th and the 12th when they get Italy or something. So I can just do the old method of, you know, the control W and then you've been taken then filter and check for them. Just curious, guys, because that would really help me find some players and really build a, a maze. But right now, I, I'm lying on my scouting, which is fine, but I like to go in depth myself and just spam everything and then sign on mass because we've got enough players to dominate Europe, dominate the uh, the Vizzy, but I like to get more youth players in there. So next episode, which is not going to be called tonight, I'm going to take the evening off after this episode, um, we're going to come back. I mean, where peace being the table. I mean, they're not really in a title race. It's not really that important, is it, really? And the title race is pretty much dead anyway. That's how far I we are. It was AZ, I'd definitely do it. So I think we'll just come back for the Frankfurt game um, as a single live com again, air to the highlights again, because it could go to extra time and see if we can get through that tie. And then we'll come back for the cup final after that. I think that... We could do PSV as well if you wanted to. I think we'll do PSV and Frankfurt. And yeah, we'll do it. I think... I think we'll do it because PSV are kind of like rivals on this series for a while. And then we'll come back for the Heron Bean, Heron, Heron Bean Cup final. And then we'll do that as a full live comp. I'll try and put my suit on if it's the daylight and I feel okay. Um, and stuff like that. And then after that, we'll um, we'll come, we'll come, take it by. We'll take it as it comes from there. Um, so, yeah. Thank you for so much for watching, folks. If you enjoyed the video, and I hope you have. I enjoyed, I enjoyed making it today. So, I hope you enjoyed watching it. I will see you next episode. And it should be tomorrow. Barring to kind of freak... Um, issue and yeah don't forget to check out the other series on the channel as well i'll see you in this episode until next time thank you for watching bye bye